In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to hack the Erica pattern into a shirt with a back neck opening instead of a turtleneck. Okay, to make this into a top, what you're going to do is start with the front and you're going to measure from the armhole down. I'm going to go down about 19 inches because I use another shirt that's pretty close fitted with a high underarm and I know that that's going to fit correctly. And the reason I said 19 inches is because it's going to come out about 18 inches because you have a half an inch seam allowance here and I'm going to do a half an inch hem. And since this is a PDF and I can just print another one out or I can just tape it back together when I'm done, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut across and if you want to preserve yours you can always just trace it off okay that's the front oh and another thing I didn't mention what you want to do to make sure that the measurement is accurate you have to keep in mind that there's a dart right there and you want to go ahead and fold your dart in and just pin that in place before you do your measurement down the side. And we're going to go and do the same thing with the back, just like we did 19 inches from the armhole down. We're going to go ahead and do that same measurement for the back to make the back part of the shirt. Okay, just like with the dress, we've gone ahead and sewn the center back seam, finished the hem of the cutout, attached the front and back, at the shoulders, sewn the darts on the front and press them down. And now it's time to attach the collar. And what I'm going to do differently this time is I'm going to leave the collar open and we're going to use button attachments so you won't have to pull it over your head. And I'll show you how to make that adjustment on the collar. This is the collar piece. Normally we would sew this right sides together first like this sewing a seam right here and then once it's sewn fold it together on the fold line but instead this time to leave the ends open we're going to fold it in half with right sides together and we're going to sew down the sides at the half an inch seam allowance and then pivot and sew to the first notch on both sides and we're going to leave the entire thing open from this point down here and base the raw edges together. And then we'll be ready to attach it to the neckline.
Okay, now that the collar has been sewn, we're gonna go ahead and attach it to the neckline. Okay, with right sides together, we're going to find that center notch and match it to the center of the top. The next notch, we're going to match that to the shoulder seam. And matching the edges together. And that part's going to hang off. And we're going to do that all the way around and on the other side. And we're going to take it to the sewing machine and stitch a half an inch seam allowance all the way across. And we're going to press it down. And for the closures, you're going to add small shank buttons. And thread loops. And go ahead and set your sleeves and sew your side seams and hem everything. And then you're done.